Okay, I got the most important part done, which is I got the pipe that far. Uh, I bought this strap, and I'm saying this because some of you guys in the comments, you know, we go through our little uh, fun question. The last one we did a while back, we roughed the house, and someone questioned the whir on the trap. And they were concerned because the distance for the trap arm to uh, the distance of the trap arm. And I actually went through and got the code book out and showed whoever that comment was where the wear is W E I R in the trap. Now here I'm not concerned because my trap arm is going to be playing long enough. But then something else, I'm looking at this trap and this is the inlet. And of course, that's the outlet. And to me, it looks backwards. And maybe my eyes are fooling me, but I'm going to find out because I'm definitely going to look in the code book. And the reason I'm talking about this is when this trap was purchased for years, I would say 50 years, if you went into a supply house with, you know, guys who've been around, you say, give me an L.A. trap. This is what they give you. So you know how terminology keeps changing? Uh, I don't know who's changing it and it really doesn't matter. What's in the code book is what matters, but we called this an LA for years. Um, if there was no union here and it was glued in, we called it a line trap. A line trap is also a U, uh, with an inlet outlet on each side. Like you want to put it in a straight pipe. That's also a line trap, but this looks backwards to me. So I'm going to go look it up. I believe this is the, is the wear side, and this should be the inlet. So it's very possible that when they manufactured this, I'm not going to say who the manufacturer is, that somebody got the bright idea or may have got it totally backwards, or I'm wrong. But guys, you tell me in the comments. Um, first off, my first question is, what did you guys call it in L.A.? And what you call a line trap when you go purchase? Um, so anyway, I got into a big discussion with the a uh, counter person over this who's not a licensed master by the way but i would imagine he knows his stuff so now they're calling this a union trap with a nut here um he brought me an la trap it was inch and a half i said well oh that's inch and a half you my waste pipe he said no that's called tubular so <laughs> it got into a big discussion and when i left i said i still know if i go to an experienced guy and say give me an la trap Especially in two inch now. I'm not talking about waste pipe. We call this waste. They call it tubular, meaning other people. Uh, anything that's inch and a half, inch and three eighths from the old tubs, we call waste pipe. They call it tubular, and I don't know if it's the manufacturers uh, trying to set a standard naming so that they can make this stuff, but for years we called this an LA. So maybe I'm calling it wrong, but put in the comments, guys. When you go buy this, or uh, from my understanding, they're calling it a union trap now. And uh, I, just me personally, uh, we never used the word union in a trap. You had a trap, you had a line trap, you had an L.A. Um, there was another one, I forget. Oh, an S-trap, um, drum trap, ball trap, you know, all the ones that have been outlawed. So this, to me, um, qualifies as a trap. And for years, we put all traps in one category. You had ball traps, uh, the old lead drum traps, you know, an S trap. In fact, that's what this is under the sink, an old S from the age of this plumbing. You know, wouldn't be a vent in here. So we're going to have to put a studer in here when we're done. But the game plan is to put this in the wall, run this part up, put a studer on it, and have it. So I'm kind of stopped now because... This part of the waste pipe is good, solid brass, and we're going to replace all the seals on it, and it may have a long life on it, so we're not going to waste that good, uh, of course, this is going, this is part of the S-trap, that's broke anyway, but everything else we can restore back to almost original. Um, this will go, this is where a lot of the traps wear out in the bottom, but we're not going to use that anyway. 
This is our standard method for a kitchen sink. We always go two inch. So what I'm gonna do is reduce it with this, we call this a trap adapter. If it goes over the pipe, it's still a trap adapter. So this is gonna go like this. It's gonna go on here. And then that'll let me put that T all the way back in the corner, run up a vent, and I got room up top to get a studer up there. But anyway, that's it for today. We had an equipment failure, so we're a day behind, but not for, we're we're literally an hour behind schedule. Uh, everything else in this job was was extra stuff, but this was the last part of the original task for this job, and that was to replace the entire building drain out to the lateral in the street and finish off the old piping that was left in the house and it was about 10 feet of cast iron that was on the wall and it's gone but anyway yeah drop in the comments what do you think that is guys ladies and guys look at that to me this looks like the were it looks like this trap is reversed i'm curious to see if i'm nuts because i'm going to the code book that's going to be my next video and if it is, hey, after 50 years, I don't feel bad. See ya.